I mean, I don't know. I pay a lot of attention to, I guess, my environment. And I like to see. I, like to, I mean, if it could be everywhere, that's where I would want to see it. I don't put it everywhere that I am anymore, just because I don't want to deal with the police. But um, I like to see it where I haven't looked, or a place that provokes me to look, attracts me to. And on trains, my trains. Eat first. Um, make sure I have enough time to spend creating it and not get irked because I'm running out of time. And I don't know, I'm kind of OCD, so I like to have everything kind of like laid out and within my reach and not anywhere where I'll screw up or mess anything up. I generally just walk away, smoke a cigarette, look at it, and I don't know, I guess like mill over it, try not to get too hurt. If I can't get over it, which that does happen, I just walk away. Or focus on something else to distract me from what I was doing at first. The piece I'm working on now, I'm working on replacing the ones that I've sold at New York Pizza. And two pieces for the Center for Visual Arts at the um, Cultural Arts Center. Hiding place. I guess I'm pretty excited about the 100 canvases 100 for $100 at the CBA. Just I wanted to be a part of that gallery for a while. I just didn't know how to go about it. And then I met the lady that runs it and curates it. And um, she asked me to paint one of the 10 by 10 canvases and I could be a member for free. She waived my artist charge and whatever, and I'm kind of excited to see that because I heard that it goes like alarmingly fast. It's like Black Friday when everybody lines up out there to buy you know a hundred canvases. Um, I just I get inspiration from everything, I guess. I try to anyway. Um, seeing. Seeing art motivates me. Uh, having the opportunity to be a part of an art community inspires me. Other people's approach to art inspires me. Um, their attitudes and their energy does as well. And I don't know, it's just like being enveloped with it. Like doing something creative is inspiring to me. And I mean, like, if it's not painting or if it's not drawing or anything, just being amongst creativity is just like my inspiration to just not stop being an artist or being creative. One of the artists I'm still really amped on would be my friend Ben, but I haven't talked to him in a couple of years. And I met him when he was still in high school and he was just a phenomenal painter. Like, he's one of those kids like anything, he, could, he just does everything good or like amazing and some people like myself get envious at times but in a sense like you know I turned him into turned him on to like graffiti which he just like took the ball and ran with that and um it's phenomenal I mean I'm sure he's graduated college by now and is probably doing something really great in Fort Collins Colorado my friend Sean and I we scaled this billboard and we bombed it with our names and um, it was at like 8 o'clock at night and it was like a corona ad and it was like two two six packs so like we just blurted out the, um, the corona logo whited that out then went in and put ours like our names in that spot that was exciting and scary YouTube I just look up funny videos on YouTube I've seen a couple like, well, no, I look up funny videos, funny rap videos, and then uh, like Pose and Ewok. They have um, we have amazing paintings on there, and they like kind of switch off writing each other's name. They're graffiti writers, and they just they crush it. Um, I haven't really, unfortunately, I've 
behind the times in a way. But um, I haven't uploaded any of my artwork to Facebook or MySpace or I don't have the time for Twitter. I don't think I don't I don't think I could. But um, it's actually my photos are in the process of getting digitized right now, and I will upload them to Facebook and. I guess like I'm I'm busy at the moment, but <clears throat> I've been making art, you know, consistently. So I think I need to have a web base. I think that helps like a ton. And <clears throat> with this day and age, if you don't have like a website or like an easy accessible viewing of your work, then it's kind of like you're gonna get left out. You're gonna miss opportunities that could really help you out. So I think I'm finally gonna step into that world. Thank you guys for watching. Um, swing by the studio and gallery sometime. 109 North Cedar Street in Greensboro. And check us out on Facebook, but not on Twitter. Have a good night.